Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a few quick edits in iMovie and I thought I would take you along for the ride and show you a few quick shortcuts and see if it will help you improve your next video editing project. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer in one second. But first, I do wanna make sure I say hello to all of my channel members, especially the platinum ones. You get on-screen mention in every single video. If you're ever interested in joining, make sure you check out the join button down below and you'll see how to join up. Thank you to TubeBuddy for being a platinum level member. Let's go ahead and get into the computer and I'm gonna show you, I have selected a bunch of random clips. Um, I'm gonna try not to have the volume on so it doesn't drive you crazy. And let's just see how we do, here we go. All right, some stuff we are not gonna be covering such as how to make the animated subscribe clip with the transparent background. If you need a video on that, I've already made it. So I'm assuming you already have that piece. So we have that in the library up here as well as how to do a transparent background image. And so I've done that with some star images. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. We're gonna use those to do a transition between clips. And if you need a video on that, I've also made it. So we're assuming you have a few of these pieces already. Let's go ahead and jump into the first thing. So up here in the library, one thing that you can do, first of all, when you are creating your rough cut, which is all of the video clips that you're gonna put down together and then kind of throw in some of the edits, take out the ums, the ahs, the blank spaces before you start doing any of the tricks. So one thing that you can do is make sure that you can go up to your section. If you have a clip highlighted, again, um, what's in the clip is not important. I'm just showing you as an example. One thing you can do is you can always drag down the entire clip into your timeline, but if you know that there's only a small port portion of the clip that you want, you can actually use your keyboard shortcuts and start with an I and then go to the section where you wanna stop and hit an O and that's gonna be an in and out point. And so then you can then drag down that portion down below and you can see that this clip here is shorter than the clip up here, which is total in length of 15 seconds. The one that's down here in the timeline is only seven seconds. So this is gonna come in handy a lot of the time as you're scrubbing through clips in your main library up top, you don't have to bring down the entire clip and cut it up into chunks. So this can be helpful for a lot of people. So let's just go ahead and assume whatever's in here is great. And then the next thing, we're gonna do the same thing here with my cute puppy. This is Cooper, of course. Hopefully you guys have seen him before. So we're gonna come in here and do an in and we're gonna do an out. Oops, we're gonna reverse that. I don't want two in points. I want an in point here and I want an out point here. Actually, we want an in point here. So I'm gonna bring down Cooper. And just for now, I'm gonna make sure while we're editing, I'm gonna bring down the volume of the clip so it doesn't play back anything in the playback window. All right, so here's the first thing that we are going to do here um, is do a transition between one clip and the other. So I'm gonna grab my little stars here and they look black, but they're actually transparent. So I think I'm gonna actually grab, I'm gonna select this one, this one, and this one. I'm gonna bring all three down at the same time. Now, one thing you can set your default for how long your like photos or still images are going to last. Mine is default, I believe four seconds, which is actually a really, really long time. So one thing we're gonna do here is we're going to bring down this length for as short as you can. I think it's like 0.1 second. So we're gonna do that on all of these. So what I have here are three different images of the same types of stars. All I did was um, take the entire picture and then I selected all the stars and then I you know, put them in a different order and I did that two times. So I have three different ones. So as you go through them, it goes frame by frame by frame, but it looks like it's basically a transition right there into the next scene. So there we go, we have that. Now let's say that we're gonna go into the middle of this one. We're gonna do some cute stuff here. We're just going to Command B and create a blade. So we're gonna split this clip here. And then let's say we want to really, really zoom in. How do we wanna do this? He's so cute. Maybe this isn't the best example. We're gonna go up here to the crop and we are going to we're gonna do a crop to fill and we're gonna come in real tight on his face. We're gonna come right here. So one thing you're gonna notice is as we start to go through these clips, you've got really close on his face and then you got, boom, he's really far away again. So if you have made an adjustment on one clip, one thing that you can do is you can hit Command C and then you're gonna to go to the next clip and this will work if you have multiple clips that have all done the same thing, but you're gonna go up to the edit and then you're gonna hit those paste adjustments, which is gonna be all. So now you're gonna see it is also cropped this one as well. And the way that you know that is if you have this clip highlighted, you see it's yellow up top, it still has this little crop option that's already been indicated that it's on. So that's why it's blue. So if you look at it, it has the same crop adjustment as the one before. 
So this comes in really handy, especially if you make an adjustment to one particular clip and you need to do it to an entire series. This is how you do it. All right, so now we have transition into a very close up. And then he's so cute, right? So one thing I want to show you is how you can do basically a speed ramping effect. So it may be slower and then all of a sudden it speeds up and then it slows down again. So we're going to go ahead and do that on this clip here. And I think um, since we already have the split in it and he's already zoomed in, but then we kind of like zoom around and see his face, I think we're going to accentuate how fast that is. So what we'll do is while this clip is highlighted, you're going to hit the R button, which is the range selection tool. You're going to hold down the R button and then you're going to select a range just kind of like you were doing with the in and out point up above in the media library, you're gonna do that but on the clip that's selected. So we're gonna to go to the point where we're zooming around his face, so right about here, all the way to about here when we see his face, like that, perfect. And then what we're gonna do, go up to the speedometer up top, and we're gonna do this one as a fast. All right, so now you can see on this second clip, you've got the section where it's regular speed, and then you see the bunny, which means it's going faster than normal speed, and then you've got basically a break, and then it's gonna go uh, regular speed again. So if we play through this, it should be a slow transition into him, a zoom, and then a slow out. So let's go ahead and take a peek at this. Zoom. There it is. Okay, so there's that zoom right there. So that is your speed ramp right there. And then we're going to come in here and we're also going to, I forgot, we're going to add our subscribe button. Let's just say we're pointing at it right here. We're going to add our subscribe button, bring it down here. We are going to select it and make sure that the f there's no fade on it. Take that off, great. All right, so obviously the subscribe is covering my face and it's too large, but the beauty of doing a transparent is that we can move it around. So we're gonna select it, go up to the crop option. Then we're gonna go, instead of a cutaway, we are gonna do a picture in picture. That way we can move it. We're just gonna grab these corners and make it larger. Let's take a look here. It almost look like I'm pointing at it. Oh, but I don't want the bell in my face. All right. Let's move it a little bit more. We'll move it right here. That's as wide as it needs to be. And we'll actually just scoot this up here. Here we go. And pointing at the subscribe button. There it is. There's the bell. Okay. I feel like it could be even sooner. There you go. You get the idea though. And if you wanted to make this animation a little faster, you can go Command R, grab that speed ramp, bring it down just a little bit. And um, then make sure you take off the the fade that's on there. They try and stick it on there and be sneaky. But here we go. Now we are pointing at it. Good. Perfect. And I think that actually we're going to break right here and we're going to do a command B and go ahead and delete this clip. Now, some people have asked what's the difference between splitting a clip and trimming a clip. Basically just depends on where you're doing it. They essentially are going to end up doing the same thing, but a trim is going to be taking the clip at the end and shortening the length and duration. And then a, you know, break is sometimes you could do it in the center of a video, something like that. And you can just do another one and break it out. So. They're really, they're essentially doing the same thing. It's just depends on where you're going to end up doing the cut and you can accomplish the same thing doing both. All right. So here we go. We're going to do this after the wink. I'm going to go ahead and bring this in and close it out. There's our transition. Here is the puppy. So cute. And here's our speed ramp. Boom. And I feel like we don't need this first clip at all. It's actually not doing much for us. So let's go ahead and go take that one out. And here's the speed ramp of Coop. There he is, perfect. All right, next thing we're gonna do, actually we're gonna make this a little bit more special. We're gonna bring down one of the backgrounds and we're gonna have him be on a, what do we think, a silk orange? Yeah, that's that looks nice. We're gonna do this and place it. It's gonna make me do it on the timeline, bring Coop up on the top and trim this down here so it meets up with the top of that clip. Great, now you're gonna be like, oh, you just covered the whole thing, what are you doing? That's no big deal. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna go to the picture in picture. We're just gonna take the whole thing and we are going to give Coop his own little frame. So one thing we are going to do, we're gonna make sure he's centered. There you go, and those little yellow crossbars, we're gonna make sure that you've got centered there for you. And we're just gonna make this a little bit bigger. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna have to do it again. There's one, there's two. Now when you play it back, it looks like he is in the middle of his own little show. There you go. We don't want that fade on there though. Oh, it's because it's not the same length. There we go. Span my timeline there for just a second. Bring it in. There it is. Take off any fade that might be on there. 
Again, they're sneaky with that. You got to take it off. There we go. He's in his frame and speed ramp. There he is. Oh, so cute. All right, next thing. All right, we're going to come in here. We're going to throw in another clip and we don't need all of this. So actually, let's just bring it on down here. Here we go. We're going to mute this just in case. <laughs> And also, if you don't know the difference between muting a clip and actually detaching the audio, let me go ahead and show you. If I bring that back, you're going to see the little peaks where all of the audio is. So if you ever want to, you can actually readjust and bring the volume back. I always like to do that because then you have the option of keeping the audio in. But if you absolutely know you're not going to keep the audio, you can go in and hit detach audio. You're going to see the separate waveforms here. You can go in and um, select it and you can delete the entire bit of audio. One thing you can also do is then adjust where it is. If you wanted to move it, you know, earlier as part of a voiceover or something like that, you can see this little connection point down here at the bottom with the green. That's how you know it's connected to this clip. So if you were to delete this clip that it's attached to, you would delete the audio. But if you were to take this, make a new attachment point over here, click on here, delete it, the audio would still be there. So that's how you know where it's connected to is where the little tab is. But we're going to take the audio off for right now. Here is the next clip here. And let's just say we wanted to cut out the center of it. We don't even know what I'm saying. We're just going to hit Command V here. And we're going to hit Command V over here. Delete. There we go. Then we can also still go in and trim on the inside of that clip as needed. So there we go. And that's how you can do a trim and a blade at the same time. So that's going to be Command V, which stands for Blade Tool. Let's go ahead and just bring this back in, close this down. And this time we are going to split, actually no, we're going to bring down another clip. We're going to this time just decrease the audio to zero. Now we're going to do a transition in between. We're going to throw in a transition here and we are going to throw in, doesn't matter, we'll just throw in any one of them like this. Throw them in between here, have it default to one second. Oops, a tenth of a second. And there it goes. All right, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to throw in a title. And let's go ahead and do that over here. Let's throw in a title that says, I throw that here. Actually, we're going to say editing tricks. And let's say going to go here and it's going to end as soon as the Cooper stuff starts. We're going to stop it here. Let's play it back and see if it plays over the transition. Nope. There we go. Actually, I think I might like it over here. There we go. So I like to have it actually combine a little bit over the, the stars as well as going into the next clip. So here we go with editing hacks and boom, right there onto Cooper. So you can see here we have an overlay, we have a title as well as this video. So you can have a certain amount of layers, but this is really it. This is um, the most that you can do inside of iMovie. Like I said, then you would need to be either into Final Cut Pro or you would need to be inside of editing a clip, exporting that clip, bringing it back in and then adding another layer. Um, all right, last thing we're gonna do is throw on a cute little, let's try to do this retro one. And we're going to do an end card. There's that. We're going to throw on some text. We're going to do standard lower third. Throw it on here. Come on. Match the length. I'm going to do it all on this line. I'm going to delete this one. And then from here, I'm going to see if I can center it. There we go. Now we have this in the center of the screen. And then what we're going to do is we are going to throw on a picture in picture. And this time we are going to shrink it picture in picture, take off the fade. We're going to move this. All right, so here's how you create your end card. So now you can go ahead and have your video as you're saying goodbye to everyone. Hey, subscribe to my channel, check out these videos if you're interested. And then when you go into YouTube in the back end, you'll be able to, you know, put, you know, a video here or a video here or a playlist and a subscribe button, whatever you want to do. And that's how you create an end card at the end of your video.
So now you can see we've created basically an entire video here. Of course, you can add in as many bells and whistles as you want. You've got an animated subscribe button at the very beginning. You've got a title with a, you know, cool transition in between. You've got uh, Cooper inside of a mat, making it look a little bit more fancy, even though it's not really fancy. And then you've got, oh, and, and not to forget, we also did the speed ramping on this, as well as the cuts to have multiple types of attributes all at the same time. Let's see here. We added a transition in between here, in between these two. And then we came down here at the very end and we added an end card. You could throw in the subscribe button again at the very end, something like that. There we go. And then you would see that you could go in up to the export button. And if you need a video on how to export with the best settings, I already have a video on that as well. So make sure you check that out. So I hope that was easy enough to follow. Like I said, I have tutorials on most of the things I've already shown in this video. I'm just helping you put all the pieces together in this video. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down below. I would love to help you out with any of those questions and maybe you'll see them in a video coming up. Also, I do want to make sure and say if you like this video, you like editing, you like talking about YouTube, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Would love to have you be around here more often. And if you do want to learn how to edit this year and go way more in depth, you can actually take a look at iMovie Made Easy and I will show you how to edit from beginning to end way more in depth and I'll even give you all of the video clips. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you in a video very soon.